In this video, I'll show you how I built this fully automated AI powered affiliate product website using WordPress, WooCommerce, and NA10. This system automatically creates the product pages, writes the SEO content, generates images, and publishes it directly on the WooCommerce website completely hands free. So, let me show you step by step how it works. So, here is the N810 workflow that I have built. You can see here it publishes a new product after every three days on the affiliate website. And this is the website you can see here. If I open brenttechnologies.com, uh, the product category software. In this category, I have added all these products. So, these products are, of course, affiliate products. These are automatically available in this page. Image is created automatically and all other content is automatically created. If I open one of the products here, for example, this is the detail. Of course, this is SEO optimized content where the title, description, and even the complete uh, product features and other details are available here. So this is a complete affiliate marketing products website. And if I click on buy now, it will directly take you to the website. And of course, if somebody will sign up, you will get the commission. And this was just uh, launched uh, one week ago. And you can see here the commission that I have made. Uh, this is the commission. Of course, in Partner Stack, also there is a lot because this one is linked to the Partner Stack account. And so these are some of the programs that I'm signed up with. I will show you step by step how I have built it. And we will see how this product will automatically be available here on the affiliate marketing website. So this is fully automated, hands free. You don't need to touch anything. So if I take you to the workflow again, there is a schedule which is defined here. So, so every three days it will be running by 10 a.m. So which means that every three days a new product will be added to the uh, website. Of course, I can change it uh, right now. I can, of course, make it every one day. So every day by 10 a.m. the product will be added to the website. So where are these products? So this is the Google Sheet where all the partner stack and impact. And if I have a direct affiliates, so I can, I'm adding there. This one is for this partner stack. So let me first of all run this and I'll show you how it works. So the moment the schedule will be activated, so it will automatically get the product. And here it is writing the product basic details and it is writing the detailed description of the product. And it will take some time. Of course, it is writing the detailed description and here it is generating the image prompt. And in next node, it is generating the image. And once the image is generated, it will be then renaming the image and make a unique name for the image. And now you can see the image has been generated and down you can see here it is uploading the image, updating the image metadata and then publishing the product to the website, updating the product image. Of course, the product is added, but the image will be updated and then update the product category and then it updates the uh, Excel sheet uh, with a mark that product has been updated. So you can see here on Brent Technology, the product has been added or not. So this is what it does. So let me show you again on the your website. So this was the product list. This one has been added right now, Apollo B2B sales intelligence platform. So let me show you what was it. So if I take you to the first node where it got the product details. So you can see here, get product details. So it has taken Apollo.io and it. I will show you all the details, but let me show you how it has done. This is the Apollo IO. The product which it has added, it has added the software category to it. And then this is what it has done. So let me open this product. Here you can see the image has been added here. And it is Apollo free B2B sales intelligence platform, Apollo.io. And features and all of the details are added here. Formatting is done in a proper way. A header, H2 is added here. And then these are the bullet points which are added here. And then again, who will be benefiting most of this and all these details are here technical highlights and stuff like that so whatever has to be there for a product that should be added it has added and if somebody will now click here uh, buy now so of course it will take to the main sign up page of apollo and then whenever son somebody will sign up you get the commission so this is how the affiliate marketing works 
So I have provided the link for the partner stack also. So you can sign up for partner stack. And finally, once uh, you your workflow will run, it will automatically publish the product on the website. And let me explain you how it works. So there is another workflow also where you can start uh, updating this particular Excel sheet automatically from the partner stack, whatever new affiliate links are added. So these automatically get added. So I will provide you complete Excel sheet also. So these are all the affiliate links uh, of partner stack, which are automatically being added. If it is active or if it is application is denied or wherever it is active, so it will only uh, take that. And then if you see here, this is the destination URL. If I have added it as a tweet, so it will be automatically adding tweet and it will uh, mark it that yes or no. And then here you can see LinkedIn, whether it is published on LinkedIn or not. So it will again show you here. And whether the blog post is added, it will show you here. Whether the video is automatically created. So I have already shown you that how the video is created. And these are notes. And this is the status, whether to do it or not to do it. And this is the brand. You can see here, these are the products which are added. So by default, this field is added as no. The moment workflow will be running. So workflow will uh, mark it yes, so that you don't publish it again. So this is in all other affiliates also. So let me show you uh, again, a step by step how I have built this. So template will be available to you. You can, of course, use this template and you can start applying it to your partner stack uh, affiliate link and, of course, your product's affiliate website. So here you can see this is the schedule every day by 10 a.m. It is running and then it gets the product details. So uh, affiliate document that I have just showed you, it is affiliate link. The list is partner stack and here it will uh, get all the rows. And once it gets all the rows, you will get the filter here. So you have to look for the partner status, which is active. And if it is uh, already published, it should not be equal to yes. And if there is any error, I'll show you that also what is the error. So the next is get the product details. So it will get the product details of, uh, which are active right now. And based on that, then it will set a limit. So I will choose one from all 54, it will one. And in next one, HTTP node is there where it will get the details of this product using the link which is provided. And then it will get a complete HTML page. When the website has added security where only human can access the website, the turnstile on the website is added or cloud for security is added. So you may get the error. In this particular node, I have added. If there is any error, it won't continue. And of course, it will uh, give another output. So there are two outputs right now. If there is success, so it will, of course, continue. If there is an error, it will update the sheet uh, with a field uh, error. Yes, if there is an error, it is not able to read the a website so of course it will ignore that and uh, then next time uh, it will filter also if you see here in filter i have already added that if there is error so it won't continue so it will take only those where there is no error and which are active and which where i have not yet published or this automation has not yet published the product and in next note here it is parsing the product data and giving me the output as the title of the product meta description of the product, organization details and organization description. So, and then even if the image is there, so it is giving me that image also and summary of the product is also there. Now, if I uh, go to next node, so this information goes to the uh, AI agent. Now this is an AI agent army. So these are three AI agents that I have made. One AI agent, the first AI agent is making a name, category and I have added these categories here. So a complete prompt is added here. Input from the previous node, which is the parse data from the HTTP website. And then it chooses the brand and organization, all details. And then I have given the category mapping that if it is 15, if it is gadgets, so add it 15. So these are all the categories which are there in the WooCommerce website or the uh, WordPress website. So of course we have to update the category ID, not add the category name. So that's where, so category ID is there. This is a simple prompt where I have asked it to provide the title and then the short description of the product. So title and short description are the main thing, the product name and the product short description is main and then selection of the category. And this next node is making the detailed product description with the HTML tags and so on. So here uh, the prompt is already given to it. 
that what is the job and what it has to do and then in the next node it is taking the input and based on that input it is generating the uh, image prompt so you can see here these are all the product details which it has got and based on these product details it is generating the image generation prompt and this image generation prompt goes to again the uh, open ai image generation node it is generating the image so here you can see it has generated the image the same image we can see here and in next node uh, i was resizing it earlier of course it all depends on you whether you want to resize it or not but i'm renaming the image uh, if you want to have a specific image name you can do that and in next node what it does that it uploads the image to the website so this is the main thing that you have to make sure you understand this i'm not using any woocommerce node i'm not using any wordpress node these are all http nodes because you get better flexibility in this so here you can see it is a post method and the url which is there it is related to media so it will be uploading the media content disposition is here so it is an attachment and with the file name so file name is being changed here and then this is the content type binary content and it is of course jpg png so which is coming from here and here is the binary data so this goes and it gets uploaded into the wordpress website and in next node it publishes the product so where the product details are taken this is the endpoint url where the product will be published and i have predefined credentials here so how you can get these credentials you have to go to wordpress website create an api key for that user you can see here this is the api key for this particular website and here i have added the wordpress api and if you go here to the product name and name is coming from the product name uh, type is external and the url for the external is the affiliate link here and then short description the one which we added and then the description which is a long description with all the html tags and then status i usually publish it i don't uh, just keep it on draft you can change the status to draft also so that you can review and publish it then the button text it can be get it now or buy it now sign up now so this can be added here and then in the next node it updates the image for this particular product so it has the product uh, id also and image id also to update the product we are using the put method here and the uh, the url is here of course the endpoint url is here with the product id so all the products with the product id which is automatically created here 131 so we dragged and dropped this particular id here so it has automatically created got the product id in next step we have added the same authentication of your wordpress and then finally we have updated the image this is the json is only one image so that's where it is adding the images but image id is 130 and this is where the image was uploaded you can see here image image id was 130 so we drag and drop so it will be image id and then in next step it is uh, once the image is updated everything is successful it will just update the status that on the brand website the product has been added so this is a complete template and now of course as i mentioned uh, you can uh, it's not uh, only the website where you can publish so based on this then you can connect your linkedin facebook twitter even you can generate the video uh, video will be created using sora then that way video gets published to your tiktok or instagram or wherever whatever platform you want to update to your affiliate link will be there and based on a specific product you can publish the video and earn the commission complete and attend workflow it is 100% automated in order to earn the commission using the Anaten workflow, this is the best automation that is helpful for all the affiliate marketing professionals. So if you are into affiliate marketing and if you want to use automation for uploading all the products or creating the blogs, so I have already covered how to use the affiliate products to generate a blog, a complete blog, which is 100% AI powered. And now we have added the products to your products website you might have existing products website where you have automated the uh, amazon products amazon affiliate products so here is the partner stack affiliate of course you can use impact affiliate or if you are not into any platform so where you have uh, got the affiliate link from their own uh, affiliate system so you can copy that link also and from there you can start automating all of this 
in the content section, you can go and download this entire template. You don't need to build it from scratch, but I have explained you how you have added. You can put your creativity into it and make wonders. So let's continue to next video now.